hello youtube thank you for coming back to my channel so this is the second installment of save or splurge last video we talked about skincare i'll link it below this one is the beauty edition so we're going to be talking about all things makeup related so makeup related lashes and nails so let's get started so the first thing i'm going to say is foundation splurge um yes they are very good drugstore foundations however the more money you spend on a foundation in my experience the longer it lasts the less breakdown it has to oil and oxidation and they just look so flawless and beautiful when you just bump up that little bit extra money so you know and i'm not even gonna say you need to go crazy with the 80 dollars foundations but like Drugstore foundations ten dollars. Fenty is like twenty five thirty, and it it leads above. So I would just say you know maybe not the most expensive foundation, but consider spending a little more on your foundation. Concealer, I'm gonna say splurge because you want to try and get a concealer that's the same as your foundation. That way they kind of work together. It's not a rule, but that's just what I generally try to do. And um, also, uh. You want that concealer to last and not be breaking down throughout the day. So you want to get the highest quality that you can afford in your budget. Um, and like I said, I didn't say this in this video. I mentioned in the skincare video. But do not go into debt for makeup or skincare. You can buy all things drugstore and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And for a lot of people, it works great. However, if you do want to spend a little bit more money on certain products, that's why I'm saying splurge on those. So... So far, splurge for foundation, splurge for concealer. Mascara, save. You cannot keep mascaras that long. The longest you should have a mascara is like 8 to 10 weeks. So if you are on a budget or just you don't want to be throwing money out the window, I would say then stick with the drugstore mascaras. If you wear mascara every day, multiple times a day, and you go through mascaras then i would definitely say invest you can invest in a higher end one because you know you're going to wear it every day and use it up till it's done so but i would say save on mascara lip gloss and lipstick although i'm wearing my favorite lipstick by pat mcgrath right now in the shade flesh fantasy i'm going to say save drug of all the drugstore makeup products the best drugstore makeup products are lip glosses and lipsticks they have between Revlon, Maybelline, all the brands have mastered making really solid lipsticks and lip glosses. So, also a red is a red. I mean, there's certain shades where people will know like, ooh, that's Ruby Woo or ooh, that's Candy Yum Yum. But most makeup shades, you can find a dupe or something close or something that is in the same family of it. So I would say definitely drugstore save on the lipsticks and lip glosses because they have really solid ones at like Targets and Walmarts and stuff like that. Um, eyeshadow, both. Now the reason why I say both is because Wet n Wild and Black Radiance make really great drugstore eyeshadow palettes. However, I have tried other brands. I mean, since we throw people under the bus, I don't even think people wear this anymore. BH Cosmetics and like, uh, C not Cinema Secrets, what was the other one? But there's like, they used to have these huge, big, cheap palettes. And I used to try and wear them, and they would make my eyelids swell shut. And I just, some, and there's some drugstore eyeshadows where you put it on, and if you're black or brown, you can't even see the color on your skin. So, it's iffy with the drugstore eyeshadow palettes, but I would say Black Radiance and Wet n Wild are the two companies that make me want to say you can you can save on those because they make such solid affordable eyeshadow palettes also a lot of people like ColourPop. um i personally don't but um they make a lot of affordable eyeshadow palettes too in terms of splurge um some of the eyeshadow palettes are ridiculous like i do see ones that are like 300 400 dollars but in terms of like a solid 15 pan mac palette or anything by pat mcgrath um wow. Sorry, y'all, about the background noise. I'm trying to think, but there's certain high-end brands where you could just get those eyeshadow palettes and they're going to be flawless and apply easy and be quick to blend and they're amazing. So, 
invest in a couple of good eyeshadow palettes I would say um next is highlighter splurge so if I say splurge for highlighter because my experience has been that with some of the more affordable cheaper highlighters um you can see the glitter is chunky and it does not blend well with your skin but when you get the high-end finely milled I'm thinking of Hourglass Ambient Powder, any highlighter by Pat McGrath. They just look so nice and they blend with your skin and look so natural. I'm not wearing it now, but they look really nice from that glow within, even though they do have glitter in it, but you can't individually see each chunk of glitter. And that's why I say splurge on the highlighters. But what you could save on is contour. So, um, depending on your shade, this trick should work for, I would say, probably 90% of people. The 5% of people who are the deepest shade might struggle with this hack. Same thing with the people for the 5% that are the lightest shade. You can use foundation powders from the drugstore to contour. So, for instance, like, um, I do it with high-end brands too, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a contour powder or a bronzer. If you just get the foundation powder in the shade that your contour color would be and then boom now you got a contour and it's like a five dollar compact or ten dollar compact and it's a good deal so definitely consider doing that for your contour so save on the contour um bronzer splurge <sighs> my experience first of all asterisk because i'm black so People who are lighter skinned have more options for bronzers. So if you are fair skinned, you can get all the bronzers in the world from any brand and it will most likely work out just fine. For people who have deep and dark skin tones, one, every brand doesn't make a bronzer for us. And that's been my first issue with the drugstore. It used to be you just went to the Queen Collection, that was easy, but now they don't really have Queen Collection anymore. Well, it's hard to find. And a lot of the other brands, the darkest bronze shade is literally like my skin color. So that's the first problem. Second problem is when you do find them, they have a lot of glitter in it. And it's like, yes, you want that shimmer, but you don't want to be able to see the little chunks of glitter in the bronzer. Like, that's a no-go from the drugstore ones. Um, and then when it comes to the high-end ones, they just blend so seamlessly and they look so natural. So right now, I'm wearing, um, well, technically, Tantor is not, uh, it's a contour, it's not a bronzer. But I just have it all over my face and my forehead my cheeks and it's like it blends so much easier and seamlessly that like i have right now i have the lys primer i mean not primer bronzer love their bronzer if you only gonna get one bronzer this summer lys bronzer and it's clean beauty but um yeah splurge on the bronzer for deeper darker skin tones unfortunately i'm sorry we have less options but that's just what it is right now brow products save um Anastasia Beverly Hills and a lot of the high-end brown products are phenomenal. However, you wear uh, for people who wear brows, you wear brows every day and it can be like where you're going through these products and I love L'Oreal's brow pencils. I love Revlon's brow pencils and I really feel like L'Oreal's angled one is a very close dupe for Anastasia Beverly Hills. So, if you don't have the coins, save on brow pencils or if you just want to save coins save on brow pencils color corrector splurge most color correctors in the drugstore don't accommodate for my skin tone color i will say nyx does and there's like a few other brands but it's very hard to find and now that i'm using fenty's pumpkin color corrector i'm not wearing it now but i've been using it lately and the pumpkin is just such a perfect shade i tried the la pogo orange and that just the orange was so strong that even when I did one dot, it would still come through as the orange. Whereas the pumpkin actually color corrects. So, you might have to go high end for those. I mean, I would say get the drugstore first. See if you could finesse it based on your skin tone and maybe different tips and tricks of what you could do. At a point, what I did was instead of putting the orange directly on my face, I would mix a little orange with the concealer. Put that and then I would go on top of it with concealer. So, you could try that hack. See if it works for you. But, um... I, at the end, I rather I was like, I'm, this is too many steps. I'm just going to get the high end one, and that made it easier. 
Um, eyeliner. Splurge. Eyeliner is a splurge for me because I wear contacts and a lot of the more affordable eyeliners transfer onto my contacts. Now, some people may never have this problem. I just happen to have really sensitive eyes. So when a little bit of eyeliner or mascara gets on my contact, it's like the end of the world. It feels like there's a tree in my eye and I'm in pain. And sometimes I even have to take my contact out, throw it away and get a new one. So my experience has been high end eyeliners transfer less and give me personally less eye irritation um, like i said there's people out there that i'm pretty sure they're like i live and die by drugstore eyeliners and i never had a problem totally understand that but i'm just saying from my perspective as someone with very sensitive eyes the high-end ones have been much better for me so i splurge on the eyeliners blush is a save a lot of the specifically milani brushes blushes um, Milani has pretty good highlighters too, but their blushes are everything. Black Radiance has amazing blushes. And I don't know about you, but with blush, it's not something that is a full featured product on my face. Like foundation everywhere, concealer everywhere, but blush is really just going right here. I mean, even highlighter, I'm brow bone, inner eye, cheek, nose, like brow, highlighter is going everywhere. But because blush is literally just going right here, a lot of times you will find the drugstore ones, get the job done, all right? Next is lashes, save. Um, you can't keep lashes for that long. A lot of the drugstore ones look great and perform amazingly, whether they be regular lashes, drugstore magnetic lashes, like a lot of the drugstore lashes have stepped their game up. And I just feel like, um, especially if you're a beginner and you're trying to figure out how to cut it, how to work it, how to finesse it, start with the drugstore lashes till you know what you're doing. And to be honest, I used to have a pair of MAC lashes that I got, like, Halloween I got my makeup done one year, and I was like, I'm gonna keep working with these MAC lashes, and every time people saw them, they were like, which Ardell Ardell number is that? Like, and nobody thought that they were high-end MAC lashes, because they look just like some drugstore lashes, because all these lashes look the same. So, you can save money there. Um, also, don't keep these lashes too long, because that's another way to get infection, and pink eye, and all those things. Um, nails, both. Now, some people, especially if you're about the natural nail game, you just want a quick mani quick polish yourself. You might go to the salon for manis, but like in between, you'll like change up your color yourself. Feel free to do that. Same thing with pedicures, a little at-home pedicure, ain't nothing wrong with it. But my experience has been, I did my own acrylic nail extensions for nine months. And based on the smell that it puts in your home, the amount of time it takes, the difficulty that you have with trying to do it on your non-dominant hand, just pay the money. You might have to get a plain set, you might have to get something basic, you might not be able to get all the designs. What you could do is if you get to know the nail tech personally, be like, listen, I'll bring my own acrylic and that takes some price off the top, but don't try and do these uh, nail extensions yourself. Unless you have, if you have that poly gel kit, then maybe that might make it easier. But um, with the acrylic, it's like, it's a whole production and trust me like I said nine months I was just like I'm done with all nails a lot I'm gonna do my own nails and it took forever the house was stank I literally had to start doing it in the backyard because it just smelled so bad um and these nail salons have like ventilation and commercial stuff that you don't have at your house so then that's a whole nother thing um but I would say both depending on your situation but for me it's always gonna be a splurge you see the nails Ooh, a little clear tips colored acrylic and I got the 3d design I hope she focuses if not follow me on Instagram that way you can see my nails but um yeah so that is it for the splurge or save if there is a product that you like to splurge on that you think that I said was a save and it should be a splurge write it in the comments below if you think that there's something that I said was a splurge and you're like nope I got a save for that and I don't really feel like I need to splurge on that. Let me know in the comments below. Alright. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.